fear. It's a basic survival mechanism that is triggered by perceived threat and signals our bodies to respond to the danger through behaviour change. Fears can be mild, moderate or intense, even when it's over the exact same thing. And this is dependent on a number of factors. What is it about the thing we fear that determines these behavioural changes? We know what is true to us and our fears and would often realise that the bigger, the scarier, the more fear we feel. However, this response is represented differently in other animal species. There are instances in our life that we may encounter where we are actively being hunted by predators and have to try to avoid them. However, wildlife species have to constantly live under this threat in order to sustain life because of the need to hunt for food. In our society, we have our food hunted for us and provided through local supermarkets. Everything we need to sustain life can be bought. Therefore, our fear reaction will be much different than that of other animal species. The reality of it is, when it comes to wildlife species and fear responses, there's so much that is not yet known. There are very few studies that have documented prey avoidance speed dependent on predator size and a lack of an established link between predator size and prey anti-predation behaviour. Anti-predator behaviour describes an organism's behaviours in response to predation, Examining if size differences among predatory species influences prey decision making is important to further understand the course of biological evolution and adaptation. Invertebrate predator monitoring is challenging to measure as it isn't clear to the human observer if an invertebrate is alert to the predator's presence or has changed its behaviour in response. As a result, I focused on the predator-prey relationship with lacewings and leafhoppers. The decision of when to flee from a potential threat is subject to a high degree of natural selection given that the consequences of making an incorrect one, such as failure to react quickly, can cost an animal its life. As leafhoppers are fast-moving animals, they can hop forwards, backwards and sideways, just like crabs. Adult leafhoppers can fly away when disturbed. As leafhoppers dodge the predators with a quick movement, behaviour was quantified through whether the leafhopper reacts to the predator, and if so, how long it took them to react. As both adult and larval lacewings eat other small soft-bodied insects, and the larval lacewing is proficient at attacking pests, I was able to collect predators from various sizes to determine whether predator size differences has an effect on prey response time. Individually placed lacewing predators of different sizes in front of the leafhopper population to see how long it took them to react. This was done in the manner where only one predator and one prey were sampled at a time, with each leafhopper being subjected to two different lacewing predators of different sizes. This is to see if they could discriminate between different predators of the same species based on size differences in order to allocate energy efficiently. As the ability to react to changing stimuli based on a perceived threat of predation in order to distribute energy is a highly advantageous adaptation. My goal was to observe a correlation between response time and predator size. Essentially, I was looking for leafhoppers to respond at a faster rate for the sample group of adult lacewings in comparison to how long it took them to respond to larval lacewings. Despite the fact that the study produced no significant results, as a result showed no correlation with the size of the predator and the reaction time of the prey, we are unable to draw any conclusions and generalizations. This research topic holds its importance in the fact that almost all species on the planet are potential prey for at least one other species as one's life and survival depends on the taking of another's life. As a result, if this experiment were to be conducted on a larger scale, with other animals such as mammals and reptiles, it could provide significant results where the link between predator size and response time appeared to be obvious.